don't really remember what uh, happened yesterday, but I'm pretty sure um, I uh, <laughs> got uh, kind of blacked out drunk, I guess. <laughs> So, um, cooking video, yes. Oh. But the beer is more important. Twelve seconds later. Oh yes, oh yes. Mm -hmm. Give me to me. I kind of remember uh, what we were doing, but at the same time, um, that's probably why I don't drink anymore. <laughs> but I think we are starting at a good uh, point because I don't need to feel this shit anymore. So at least we have that. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. It smells really good. I guess maybe it's like the veggies conserved itself um, overnight <laughs> with, the, with themselves, I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, we just have veggies and we need to shred everything, even the onion, but if we are cutting it in half. Let's get to work. Yeah. Here we go. And we are shredding it everything into the pan, so I will, what the fuck is this? I don't remember doing that. Transfer everything to the bowl and then we will shred this shit. Yeah, I don't need to wash it. <laughs> okay, this is not even my favorite part. This is like the worst aside from peeling because uh, it takes so much time. <laughs> I'm not doing anything nasty. Ow! It's good that you can eat while you're doing that. That's the whole magic of cooking. Just eating while you're doing that. At the same time, if you're like, if you have a brain, not like me, you just buy a food processor and just shred it in there in like two minutes. You wanna do like a big grains because um, because then you have like a texture on in the sauce. And at the end of the day, it will all everything it will like melt or whatever together. Um, but then if you do the, I mean, if you ha want a sm smoother texture, you do it on the smaller grains. But on the bigger grains, you ha you, the sauce like has a character for me. And then it's like you kind of see the ingredients, which is kind of cool for me. Shredding takes like about half an hour, especially with this bullshit. This is so hard. Oh my god! Oh my god! <clears throat> so hard. <laughs> Do you wanna see like? This shit is so fucking hard. Uh, I know it's bullshit. <laughs> the proportion is like basically for like uh, 10 portions of sauce, I think. I'm not really sure because usually when I do that, then I uh, freeze that and I have like a food for like the next uh, month or two if you if I really wanna proportion it or whatever ah fuck oh, I will squeeze it <laughs> oh my god oh fuck ow Ooh. okay bitch Jesus that's a lot okay the hard veggies are in now I need to shred uh, peppers it kind of like uh, because of this amount of uh, hard veggies, the peppers may be a, a little bit doesn't make sense, but um, it will uh, come up in the um, taste. 
then you will have like a little bit of sweetness of it and like the spiciness. I don't know what I'm talking about, but uh, that's just how it works. <laughs> and the last ingredient in the mix will be the half of the onion. For no reason. Okay, this is on the side. On the side, I mean on the ground. <laughs> because we're nasty here. So you have bullshit something like that. You need to shred everything in the big grains and then uh, we are boiling it. So we have our base. Now basically we need to add the bullshit that we have in the kitchen. Whatever we have, basically whatever we wanna. It's good to um, at the start of the cooking because the veggies need to um, shrink and uh, cook. <laughs> We're doing a little bit of uh, olive for the starters. Doing salt, uh, whatever amount. Dry oregano. Uh, yeah, whatever amount too. Like, just sprinkle it. Uh, pepper, I guess. Open everything with this bitch. What the fuck is this? Condom? I need to. What the hell is this? <laughs> this is the first time I see the double seal. <laughs> I I guess just like pop it out. It's a little bit strange if you ask me. <laughs> okay. So pepper, uh, whatever amount to, just to like uh, cover it a little bit, just whatever. <laughs> a little bit of paprika to have the reddish color. Mexican because why the not why the hell not just a little bit because it's not Mexican food and I wanna do a mix of uh, Wait a mix of basil Just a little bit and I have real basil also so I will cut this bitch up. Oh, yeah I forgot the core ingredient a beer <laughs> Fuck where the what where went it? <laughs> We are not drinking that today, basically uh, because uh, at the start there are no juices to like cook it from under. Um, you can add water, but I'm d uh, uh, usually putting like a beer af with a, te a te tequila uh, base. It doesn't matter if it's desperados or whatever, whatever. Just something to at the start cover the bottom to um, pull the juices from the veggies. I don't know if it makes sense, but. It just works like that. Pour a, a little bit. Like that. And I think that's it. Tomato sauce we will put later because everything needs to shrink and then uh, uh, we will add up the tomato base and the tomato concentrate I have. So we are putting the mix uh, on high heat to boil it with a uh, cover if you have. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot to mix it. <laughs> well, that's ad um, another thing, right? <laughs> it already smells nice. I mean, it smells like a beer, but it makes uh, um, these uh, veggies to make themselves wet. So, you know, whatever. It's kind of like a pre-game for them. Yeah, it smells like my pizza. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> So it will shrink eventually, but we, we, we need to wait, like I think like 15 minutes, something like that. And we are done with the this bullshit. Um, no. So, the next step is the meat. What do I have? Let's do like a not cleaned pan. <laughs> oh wait, no, it makes... I don't have space for that. Well, let's do it that, whatever. I'm doing the meat sauce from the, you know, minced meat. Additionally, it's uh, not good. <laughs> it's like one uh, day after the date of the, you know, uh, death. We're doing a base of um, olive oil again, like a light coat. Mm, and cooking it with is pretty straightforward, at least for me. You basically just like dump the meat. Yep. Yep. Fuck man. I mean, it smells 
not like I need, so I mean, it works, right? Uh, we need to like spice it up, but, so basically you do the same shit with uh, sauce, you just pull whatever spices you have, because it's just how it works. Mexican bullshit. Uh, yeah, salt. And we're gonna put the fresh basil to the meat. For no reason, but I'll just use my um, fucking kitchen knife because that's a thing. It's clean, whatever. Wait. So you have like a stack of basil and you like basically roll it like a blunt? Not like that. It's dirty, so let's flip it. That's why it has two sides. And it has something like that bullshit. Okay, so we are taking like a half of it to the meat. Like that. Okay. And the other half we are putting in the mix. Let's do that. Just to like add a little bit of uh, fresh basil flavor, if it makes sense. <laughs> oh, it smells nice already here. I'm getting excited. Okay, uh, let's add uh, no. I mean, just a little bit to the meat. A little bit. Let's mix the meat. I wish I would have like a space to do like a wide shot of everything that's here and then uh, me. But I, my space is like here's a window already. So I'm like, that's what I'm getting. Okay, we have the mi mixture mixed. The sauce is, I think it's, it's fine. It's coming together. What do we do now? Now, now I mean, because at the same time we are doing the meat and the base sauce, so it's not like we are doing. Uh, other things in the between, but that's just like a waiting game, I guess. But we need to make sure to just like do everything. Not to not uh, burn it. Cooking is easy, really. Like, uh, I claim to have like a skills or whatever, but I just do random shit and it, it kind of works. You just need to go with it, something like that. Um, and just like, you know. You don't need to do the measurements or whatever, you just need to jump into the kitchen and just start doing shit, right? And eventually it will work out for you and then you will know how to cook. It's not really hard. The mixture, um, okay, I think it's sh shrinking already. That's great. Meat sauce, we're doing also here. Okay, the meat is uh, already kind of brownish, so we'll just um, finish the cooking just like in uh, three minutes that. Or basically like now. <laughs> mm, let's just taste it uh, for now, how it is. Mm, it needs more salt. That's for sure. And more pepper. That's definitely good. Okay, shit, it's done. So we're just putting it on the side just to cool it down with juices and stuff like that. So now we are basically just waiting for the veggies to, you know, shrink. We basically need to shrink the mixture and make it soft in the texture. So basically, even though you have like the chunks of it, when you bite into it, it doesn't uh, have anything hard. <coughs> ah, my head! Make sure it won't stick to the pan, but it won't because uh, there's nothing to burn, basically, because everything is boiling here. So that's fine. Ah, fuck! Ah, I touched the hot shit. Mmm, why? Mmm, 
It's still hard though. So we we're leaving that to cook for like um, five, ten more minutes. There's not much really interesting to do aside just to wait to... I mean, if I would have like a bigger kitchen, it would be a really um, fast process, but it's not. I wonder if someone uh, watches, um, whoever watches this shit <laughs> that I'm doing, uh, if someone watches the RuPaul's Drag Race or whatever, and if yes, well, uh, well, that's my homie. <laughs> This year's uh, season, like the All Star Four season, is so good. It's insane. Like everything, uh, like the from the previous uh, All Star season, they stepped it up so much that uh, it is so entertaining to watch. It's amazing. Let's see. Uh, I mean, it's nice. So let's add a little bit more of beer. Okay, at this point we can add the meat. So basically, to this mixture we are dumping the meat we, are, we prepared with the juice, with everything that uh, we, did, we did. And we mix it with that. Basically to like mix up the juice uh, from the meat and then the sauce. Even though we didn't uh, add yet the tomato paste, uh, just to like prepare the mix to come together. Let's see if it uh, tastes differently this time. Mmm. Okay. It's a little bit hard still, but. It comes together. Okay, we need to wait uh, five, five more minutes. Let's just mix it real quick under the cover. Yeah. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Fucking chair. It's not really a hard recipe. You just to put it like a really straightforward thing. You peel everything. You shred everything. You cook the meat. You dump everything into the pan, and it just uh, and after that you put the tomato sauce, and voila, that's that's the philosophy of this. It's not really hard. It just needs to. It just needs to take. It kind of takes time to sh shred everything and peel. But if you have like a machine to shred it, you do it like 20 minutes for like fuck, fuck ton of people, <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> I know the standard doing the sauce is like you know doing the meat sauce in the pan then like uh, with with like onions oh i forgot to put garlic and onion uh whatever <laughs> it makes no it's no it's no difference at this point i mean i forgot to put the in the meat the onion and the garlic but it's just like a subtle change but in the original recipe it, it goes to the garlic in the meat um, and the uh, onions also. I mean, just like, it never went, but I wanted to try it this time, but I forgot, so it makes no sense to do it now. Um, but it was the standard recipe, I know it's like cooking the meat in the pan uh, with the garlic and like the onions, and then like put the meat sauce in the pan with the meat and just like cook it uh, to, sh uh, to um, reduce the watery substance of tomatoes and voila that's the sauce for me it's like it's just tomatoes with meat it is non-creative like so basic uh, so, so it's kind of like uh, whatever like it's not really my um, I guess taste <laughs> of bullshit <laughs> oh yeah recently in Paris there's like this uh, whole gilet jaune here the protests or whatever it's so insane like one day I couldn't um, get to my work um, because uh, the blockade was uh, further from the Arc de Triomphe um, and I couldn't get to the job whole day so I so I was like hmm, I had I mean I had every day but at the same time um, the management uh, 
was confused why I didn't came and I'm like well there was fucking blockades everywhere everywhere like how could I do it and and they told me that they won't pay me, uh, me for this day and I'm like bitch if you don't pay me I'll sue you <laughs> so we'll see how it goes French people know how to protest I'll tell you that it's just here in other countries you have like you know the posters and like people w walking around and stuff like that here you have like cars burning everything is fucking black people are like so crazy and I'm uh, kind of surprised that uh, there are not many casualties in deaths here but it's just so insane shit that they do it's crazy but that's kind of another uh, point why I love Paris because it's so chaotic but at the same time the next day of the bullshit that is happening the next day is like nothing happened <laughs> like it just never happened and I'm like whoa great cleaning teams I can already see the juice is coming on the surface so that's fine so now I think it's time to put the rest of the uh, ingredients basically it's the tomatoes to cook with it oh fuck and like um, everything will came together after, under that what I'm doing is I'm doing one uh, one piece uh, one portion of uh, mixed tomatoes fresh and one portion of concentrate just for fun I don't know why but it's just how it is so we basically put it in the sauce Put a little bit water to it. Shake to uh, get every tomato. Pour it again. Great, that's done. Um, open uh, the cartoon with uh, teeth. <laughs> and put the concentrate in the mixture as well. And mix this shit. Right now we won't cook it under the cover because now uh, we need to reduce the wateriness of the uh, tomatoes and uh, well we don't need to cover it because now it's like the you know blob blobbish texture. Now it kind of smells like all the tomatoes but uh, after a few minutes the mixture will uh, absorb it and then it it will be complete uh, with the thing. But now uh, it's time to cook the water for the pasta because uh, we are waiting right now to, uh, to the sauce to come together so we are just uh, cooking the pasta in it because it uh, takes uh, like seconds, minutes. Standard stuff. Um, salt in the water. Uh, I do olive oil but it's for no reason. I always thought it's uh, kind of like makes uh, the pasta not make uh, like the water not film up but uh, apparently it's bullshit but I didn't stop to do that. <laughs> I mean just just one but we're pouring it. <laughs> Fucking bitch. <sighs> Made myself embarrassed yesterday. Mix the mixture in between to not uh, burn it. I mean, it won't burn it, but it's just good to mix all everything all together to equally absorb the tomatoes. Let's do a taste test. At the end of the day, the ultimate uh, like color of the sauce will be like orange, like orange reddish, something in between and uh, it will not be like completely red because you have like carrots that are like um, the main uh, ingredient here also tomatoes so we'll see so it's kind of like the carrots absorb the tomatoes and then it's kind of like everything comes together but we're putting it on the lower heat um, just because I don't know why just just like that Mm-hmm.
Mm -hmm. We have still some taste of tomatoes and carrots, so it means it does not, uh, it didn't absorb it yet fully, but we are getting it. We are getting it there. So it needs like uh, five uh, more minutes, I think. I don't know, <laughs> like just some minutes. Like I told you, fuck the measurements and fuck the timer. Like you just do. Um, do it like that, you don't wait a specific time or the amount, at least I don't. <laughs> Except for pasta. Pasta I strictly cook at the time that it's uh, written on the package. Because you wanna uh, have like the optimal al, del al dente cooking there. The sauce is the best uh, after like um, one day because then it kind of like conserves uh, and uh, I mean it's fine from the pan uh, from the making but uh, it, it, uh, it comes together more after like uh, it, it has some moments in the fridge okay the water is boiling we're adding the pasta for 11 minutes this pan uh, from wait Okay, so we, we just basically put the uh, mixture on low heat to kind of like, you know, stay on the heat for a little bit more and we're waiting for the water to uh, cook for the pasta. It looks like I'm like in hell <laughs> here <laughs> or like it's, co it's coming from my dick here like the... Uh, the... <laughs> so let's see. Mm. Mm hmm. A little bit more, but I can taste the the gold. Mm hmm. It's fine. Mix the pasta in between to not stick it to the pan. It's not water boiling tutorial, <laughs> but I know people who bo uh, who burned uh, water, and I'm like, I'm like, mm hmm. It's kind of like whenever I do the uh, cooking or like the recipes from my thing, uh, it kind of like makes me alive, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's fun. It's just fun to cook for me. Why I don't work anymore in the restaurant, so. So it doesn't mean I'm dead, but <laughs> it's so hot here. <laughs> I'm like bowling with the sauce here. My walls have skid marks, like there's water going from the, from the ceiling. Literal hell here. But I will open the window a bit. I feel like I'm back in Egypt. <sighs> See, that's how it, it should be. Like the coloristic and texture thing. And this is like portion for a fuck ton of people. So that's why I just freeze that and, and I just have it for later. Mm -hmm. I can still taste a little bit of carrot, but bitch, it is amazing. Yes, that's great for now. Okay, we're coming to an end. Yeah, well. Oh, that's close. So, we're putting it from the heat. We're draining it in the sink, like uh, the water and stuff. So we have now that. What I'm doing immediately with the every pasta. I don't know why, it's just how it is. I am putting a little bit of um, butter. Wait. A little bit of butter, like that. Mix it to make it a little bit buttery. Uh, I don't know why I started doing that, but it, it just makes pasta uh, so much better. If it's like a buttery, uh, you know, taste. Then I put 
Um, cheese. Uh, let's do like uh, one and a half Idem. Usually you, you can see the Parmigiano or, or Parmigiano Reggiano or like uh, Grana Padana in the uh, Italian recipes or like the pastas. Um, and which is fine, but for me it, it uh, changes the whole uh, taste of the dish. Basically an indication of when people use it is, is when uh, the sauce uh, ended up uh, really bad and uh, really not tasty. People put the uh, parmesiano in the uh, pasta because uh, you can taste only the parmesiano. <laughs> so you know that's that's how it is. But I'm doing like the normal cheese to melt it first. Then I'm putting the mixture we just did to mix it all together. Whatever amount you wanna because you have a fat ton of it. Then you mix it normally. And now it comes together with the cheese, butter and the sauce. And that's basically it. You just pour it in the plate. To be artistic and shit, you can put the basil dill, I guess, I guess, I don't know. Yeah. Don't, uh, don't see this whole bullshit that's coming there. <laughs> so basically, here you have like the pasta, normally. Basically, it will be like this orange because the tomatoes soaked up the tom... Uh, no, the carrots soaked up the tomatoes. So here you have the artistic bullshit basil. Uh, but that's kind of it, you know. It smells nice. It smells the battery, which was the point, and the sauce is uh, coming together. I hate when I need to blow um, on food. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. That's it, basically. You can taste the cap. Uh, the uh, butter with the meat here and it really tastes good though mm -hmm. mm. yeah when it kind of cools down to the point that you can normally eat and just don't blow it to just like cool it down it's amazing it's it's just how it should be done you can see like the flakes of the peppers Celery, like uh, cel no celery and the uh, white carrots, kind of mixed with ca uh, carrots. But you can see like the colors that we add in, like peppers, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty good. And you cannot uh, taste at all the beer that we add in, but just like it kind of added a little bit um, smoke to the pasta and like the you know, fluffiness kind of, because the beer has a fluff uh, in it when you pour it, so it kind of like makes it a little bit softer, I think, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's that's it basically, that's my pasta, that's what I would uh, eat uh, all day if I would, uh, if I could, <laughs> but yeah. It's really straightforward, you don't need to... If you have a proper tools, not like me, it's uh, really easy. But maybe that's why I love doing pasta, because it's just a really versatile thing. I think I said it yesterday, but I don't remember. <laughs> a versatile dish to prepare. You just need to go with it and just have fun with it, I guess. It's really good. I hope someone will do this recipe though because it's really good. So if you do, just like tell me and is uh, and tell me it it went uh, fine. But yeah, I, that's uh, that's my heart on the plate, I guess. I'm not eating more. I need to go. <laughs> so I will see if we will do more of that uh, later. But I just need to like um, you know prepare myself better because I don't have space much here 
and uh, you know how yesterday went so I just need to uh, think a little bit more about that <laughs> but yeah it's pretty good so I guess that's it